What other dog is Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Witch Slapped, the Popwire after show for Hallmark Channel's The Way Home. My name's Rowell. I'm Danny. And I'm Jennifer. Hello again. Hey everyone again. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't seen episode 204, Wake Me Up When September Ends, stop the video, watch it, and then come back. Jennifer, I have a question for you, and I've asked yeah. Danny in our last Witch Slept episode. If you could travel back in time, like if the pond was a real thing, when would you go? Like, wh to which time period would you go? And why? Civil War. I'm a huge fan of the Civil War. I live here in Pennsylvania, so I'm like two and a half hours north of Gettysburg. So I'd love to actually get, you know, to see it firsthand from, you know, a distance, as it were. So, Civil War, hands down. Wow, that would be very intense. All right, so we're just going to head right into it. Okay, we're going to just jump right into it. So, episode 204 is called Wake Me Up When September Ends. And it is described as follows. Kat learns more about Jacob's life in 1814, but that knowledge raises more questions. Alice's travels to the past take her to a time when the carefree world she once knew is gone, while also giving her a front row seat to her parents' engagement that plays out differently than the version she's been told. Brady pays a visit to Port Haven and tries to help Dell with the future of the farm by negotiating with her new neighbor, Sam. Kat and Elliot navigate new boundaries. The episode was written by Michael Henley and Masuma Hussein and directed by Shamim Sarif. All right, so that was 204. Now, Danny, you have a Who Said It? These yeah. are so fun. I love these. Yeah. <laughs> they are really fun. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Um, The saltwater seas will slip apart when I blow this dark poison from you. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Susanna. <clears throat> yeah. What? Whoa. That was, that's... Part of, that was part of like the, she called it a poem bell whatever it was that she used to help heal um cat i was thinking like it, i think it sounds like it, someone said it like back in the day yeah right 1840 yeah yeah <laughs> that's just not like something like a someone in the present would have said so that's a good guess susanna yeah awesome awesome all right did you guys get that right everyone watching susanna yeah i'm loving susanna by the way oh you know we should try to get her on as well Yes, that would be fun. This episode, we get to see more of her, and I'm loving mm -hmm. her. I'm loving all the women energy in the show. I love it. All right. So, uh, Jennifer, what is your favorite moment of episode 204? Hmm. I would say, don't hate me, people on, on Twitter, but uh, Bradley being back and being supportive, even though him and Kat aren't together anymore. And with the whole... Um, Leaf same with the farm and he offers to take a look at um, the contract and Dell said you know don't do this on my behalf and I'm paraphrasing but uh, Bradley's like when you're doing something for people you care about it's because you care about them not because you know I'm a lawyer and you need help we're, we're still family and to see you know divorced parents still you know being in the kid's life and in the family's life and everybody's very positive. So I like that a lot. Yeah. Brady uh, has. Did I say Bradley? Oh my God. Brady. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Brady. Yeah. He's becoming one of my favorite characters. He's so sweet. Uh, Jen uh, Danny, what is your, <laughs> Danny, what is your favorite moment? From the episode? <laughs> um, my favorite moment actually comes back to that quote came from from Susanna um so we have Susanna and Kat interacting they're well Kat asks Susanna how she healed her because there's no scar from her gunshot wound um mm -hmm. and Susanna basically tells her that she has healing powers so she's some kind of witch mm -hmm. um and the other side of it was Kat confides in her tells her where she's actually from talks about the magic of the pond how that Jacob Susanna's fiance 
got there. Um, so it was like a really nice bonding moment between the two characters and it kind of just adds to the whole magic of the show. I think knowing that Susanna is a healer, Mm -hmm. um, and I know we're going to talk about theories a little bit later, so I'll save that. But yeah, I think that was probably one of my, my uh, favorite moments. My favorite moment is um, young Brady in 2001 when he's talking to Dell mm-hmm. and he's saying, you know, I want to be the one thing that Kat can count on. Not just Kat, your family too. I'd mm-hmm. like to ask Kat to marry me tomorrow when we're here. I promise to do right by you both. And again, this is young Brady. And we've all seen how much of a dick he can be. <laughs> right? So yeah. I'm trying to, and then, you know, we see present day Brady and he's a sweetheart. But then young Brady is such an ass. So it's nice to see this side of him. Mm-hmm. I thought that was such a beautiful moment. And the start of me starting to like young Brady. uh, And that was such a sweet moment. And, um, and the whole proposal number that they did was really cute. He said he invented the flash mob. uh, (laughs) uh, And if those were actually them, those guys singing, I think that'd be, that's really cool. And I know, I know it's kind of cheesy, but like, I think we, is it too early to talk about a musical episode? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> always, no, it's not too early. We we always need a musical episode. They travel to a time period where everyone only sings when they talk. <laughs> That'll be fun, yeah. <laughs> season five is always in typically the uh, fifth season of a show for musicals. Typically. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow! And then another part about that, um, you know, we see the the sweet side of you know. Uh, Brady asking Del, pretty like kind of like her permission, and then you know Alice and Elliot they they see that moment, and then Elliot is just like oh he's young Elliot heartbroken, and he runs out, and oh that's just so sad. Oh poor mm-hmm. Elliot. Oh jeez, Jennifer, you have a who said it? Uh, okay, so it's um okay. You want to know who I am? You asked for it. The cat. Mm-hmm. How do I not know these? Oh, what the I always blurted out. I'm sorry. No, 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 that's <laughs> not. <laughs> so Jennifer, when when was that part? So when um they go back to the pond and what is it? It mm, now I'm confused. No, that was you're right. It's 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 when Cat and Susanna has the knife out. Yes. And Cat like falls mm-hmm. back into the pond. It was such a badass. You wanna know who I am? Man. Is it concerning that Susanna didn't like care or like jump in after her, or she was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, how would you react? Be like, uh, okay, sure, I'm not, I'm not gonna jump in a pond, okay, yeah, me neither. No, okay, <laughs> I had that experience swimming in a pond. I yeah. mean, to save someone's life, too, but that's the fire department, that's not me, no, no. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now is the part of the episode where we uh, show your captions for an image that we posted on social media. And uh, we got a couple from social media. And then we've also included some of our own. So we're going to play that for you right now.
Guys, that was so good, right? That was were so cute. <laughs> it's not good. As always, follow us, Pop Wire Net, on all social platforms. Check out for our post where we ask you to caption this. Reply to that post with your captions of the image, and then we will include it in the up an upcoming episode of Witch Slapped. All right. So now we're going to get into the big moments of the episode. And I'm excited for you, for you, Danny, to start first. Let's go with you first. Um, so kind of tying back to what I was saying earlier about that moment with Susanna and Kat. Um, Susanna possesses some sort of magic. And I wonder if maybe the Augustine family has something to do with the magic of the pond. That's kind of, I have no, <laughs> there's really nothing like saying that at the moment. Like usually I'm trying to look for clues and things, but that's kind of just what I'm, I'm simmering on at the moment. I like it. The... Yeah. You know, like what, what would have created the pond? Yeah. Do you think someone created it? That would be really cool. Maybe not created it, but created the portal that's within the pond. Yeah. Like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Right. Whoa, oh my gosh. Yeah. But yeah, if she's a witch and then I think uh uh cat is cat is a witch too. Cause she said she's the white witch or which whichever. Would her power mm -hmm. just be the time travel though? Or do you think she has I'm living for it. Make You're it what? happen. I'm yeah. living for it. Please make it happen. If this turns into like a witch show. I will be for I it. I'll be so thrilled. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then we need like a third witch too. I don't know. Something about trios I love. So okay, it's gonna be Susanna. She's a witch. Mm -hmm. Cat, she's a witch. Then we we need another witch. Who's gonna who's it gonna be? Alice Maybe. is obviously a witch. She's also tra time traveling. Oh, Wait, but you know, <laughs> Finn. Finn travels as well, and he's a dog. And the horse. Is he a dog? No. Is is he a dog? Hmm. Is what the horse the a horse? What if, the, what if the dog is Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he traveled through the pond and then he came out to something else. <laughs> okay, so that reminds me about Jacob. That'd be messed up. There's this whole thing about Jacob being erased from the record. Right? He's not written in the family almanac. There's no records of him at all for Port Haven. Like, what do you guys think about that? that Obliviate. Do you guys get it? <laughs> what did she no, what happened? Jennifer, Nothing. explain. No, explain. I think it's an obliviate. Right. That was the right spell, right? Was that the right spell? Yes, I think so. Okay. So from Harry Potter, when Hermione erases her parents' memories to keep her safe, to keep and them she safe. Disappears, Ooh, and then she okay. disappears from all of the photos and mm -hmm. all the stuff. So I'm a Harry Potter nerd, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Never apologize for that. No. Really quick, um, speaking of Harry Potter, if any of you guys are watching from the Seattle area, there's Harry Potter Magic at Play, which is um, an exhibit that is going on at uh, in Bellevue. So check that out. I had the chance to go check it out before they opened in November. Um, it's amazing. It's really fun. So yeah, um, Harry Potter Magic at Play. I'll put a link in the description as well. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you need to go. It's, it's such a cool experience. All right. Okay. And then Jennifer, what is your big moment from the episode? Oh, I like the comfort the confrontation between Susanna and Kat when she pulls a knife out. <laughs> she just pulls up the knife. She's like, "Whoa!" And then um, they get she gets back to the present and she's talking to um, she's talking to Elliot. She says, "Yeah, y'all are alike. You know, pulling knives on people and stuff." And then was a joke between them two. Mm -hmm. oh yeah i remember that that was cute okay my big moment is the end and this ties into what danny said in last week's episode of which slaps so uh it is at the point cafe when alice is singing and then cat talks to elliot and cat goes she keeps going back doesn't she is she gonna see she's gonna hate me so like what um, Danny said um, about one of our uh, viewers commenting that when Elliot was looking up at the, in the, in the um, Langermore, Langermore house, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. staircase. Um, apparently, Cat does something really bad that um, that Alice witnesses. What are your theories on what they could be talking about? I'm thinking it might be an affair. I'm thinking Cat yeah. probably hooks up with someone. Uh, yeah, what are you? I, I, that's the only thing I can think of right now. What do you guys oh, think yeah. it could be? Mm. Not an affair, but like, like, because they're not married yet, or I don't know, mm-hmm. when do they get married? Did they get married pretty young? Yeah, they must have, right? I mm-hmm. don't know. Could Kat have done something mean to Elliot? Because they did sort of sever ties at some point in their youth, right? They went for years without talking or seeing each other. So, mm. would that make Alice mad though? I think if she saw her mom being a bully to Elliot, knowing oh. that they're friends and and young Elliot is Alice's friend, yeah, maybe. I would I would get mad. <laughs> Jennifer, what do you think? Maybe young cat learns that Alice is a time traveler and may have, you know, warned her about Jacob going missing. Hmm. Okay, whatever it is, though, I hope it's not like a small thing. Like, I hope they're not. I want it to be something big, like shocking. <laughs> like, it probably. It's, I hope it's not going to be turned out where, like, oh, she, oh, I did. Alice see me forget to buy groceries or something. Something like small and like non. Like, <laughs> I hope it's something major that. Oh, will... she stole my jacket or something. <laughs> yeah. It's time for my who said it. And um, it's it's a good, it's a cute one, I think. Okay. So it's not so bad. And parts of it are actually really great. Sad. Hmm. It's yeah. not so bad. And parts of it are actually really great. I'm stumped. Any guesses, viewers? Any guesses? <laughs> Hold on, let me guess. Uh... Oh, this is a good one, then, if you guys don't know. It is. Yeah, yeah. roll. Um... My defense, though, like, I literally just finished the episode before we recorded. That's why. <laughs> yeah, it was five minutes late. I'm so, ten minutes late. I'm sorry. I was like, what's going on? Did you did you fall in the toilet? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to throw a random guess out there. Okay. Cat. Okay. And then, um, Jennifer, what is your random guess? Um, oh, oh, wait. Oh. Dill? Is it Alice? Is it? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you who it is. Okay. So it's Alice. It's Alice talking to young Elliot in the barn house. Oh! She's making the pact not to tell him more about the future. So she goes, you know, like, I promise not to tell you more, but, you know, it's not so bad. And parts of it are actually really great. And this is Alice in 2001. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, when when we find out it's 2001 and he's on the computer, I was like, oh, wait, is 2001 when Internet was invented? <laughs> so I, forgot when it, I forgot when. Yeah, I just saw that big ass computer. I'm like, whoa, I haven't seen that. in for- I might be aging myself, but I haven't seen that in forever. Um but yeah, so um, that is my who said it. Oh, that was a good one. Yes, it was. Uh, all right. So now we're going to go into our performer of the episode. Mm-hmm. Danny, who is your performer of the episode? Mine is going to be David Webster. So the actor who plays young Elliot. He's um, so good. He's so good. He really is. And those emotional scenes that he has, like surrounding um, the engagement and then, you know, the part where he's, when uh, Brady's speaking with Dell about, you know, basically asking <laughs> for her daughter's hand, um, the way he displays heartbreak, it's just, it, oh, it gets you right in the chest. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dave Webster. Same, Ian Elliot, um, so emotional and so raw of having his heart broken. 
And we can all relate to that at one point, right? Your crush goes to somebody else, but you want them to be happy, etc. He did a really good job. And I have to agree. Oh, I think it was the first time we all. Wow. Oh, yes. Three points. Yeah. Three points for David oh. Webster. I love it. I'm curious, can only the Landers use the pond? Or can other families use the pond too? Mm. And our animals. Well, doesn't don't aren't we thinking that maybe um Elliot was it who wait who what is your theory on the figure that was in the in the bushes during Jacob. that oh Jacob, okay. I was yeah, I was actually just thinking that. Oh. before I was thinking because Roel and I talked about it and we we're like it might be Elliot but now that we know that uh Jacob is an adult yeah. mm -hmm. could very well be him trying to like go back and revisit some of those really nice memories that he had with his dad and uh yeah I mean he wasn't in that particular moment right between Elliot and Colton but uh even so I think yeah it could definitely be Jacob Speaking of adult Jacob, you know the rendering that they had. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing they recreated it from the actual actor mm. playing him. So you know, maybe Kat is going to see him and immediately recognize him from the photo that she had made, she had commissioned. So I think we already have an actor. We just don't know his name yet, and I think he very much resembles. The photo so i think they you know copied it as close to his likeness so we'll see um otherwise if not i have a fun question who would you guys cast as older elliot i mean older older jacob older, did, was i saying, was I saying <laughs> oh, elliot yeah. the whole time yeah. was i i was saying elliot the whole time yeah what? don't don't feel bad Shh. okay i meant jacob <laughs> Well, if if we're picking someone that kind of looks like that that illustration, my mind immediately goes to uh, a Canadian actor. I can't remember his name, but he was in Asher and Lily Saves the World, and he was also in um, School Spirits. He has oh, like dark, dark he has hair, really right? beautiful, like piercing blue eyes, dark hair. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I just don't what know his name. Let's let's I'll look him up. I've never seen either of those, so I don't know. <gasps> <laughs> you should definitely watch them. They're they're really good. Asher and Lily is so cute, and I am very upset with Sci-Fi for not renewing it. Mm -hmm. Who do you guys think? What would be your pick? I don't know, but considering like he is a Canadian actor, Danny, I think there's a good chance that he could be it. Yeah. They have okay, Spencer, of Mc uh, Spencer McPherson. McPherson. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, oh. I've been pronouncing your name wrong, Spencer. Uh, that would be my my pick mm -hmm. all right well thank you everyone so much for watching again these are very short because we um you know uh, we have the actual recap of the episode on popwire.net written by danny so check that out i'm going to put that in the link in the description below along with all of our social um social handles for you to follow and watch out for the caption this post reply to it and then we'll uh include it in the next episode of wit slapped all right so um again tune in to the way home sunday nights at 90 central on hallmark channel they're also available to stream next day on hallmark movies now which is hallmark channel's streaming service it's also available on peacock tv mm -hmm. the next day and then also the day of um uh, live on the uh, hallmark channel live channel on peacock so check that out and you get to watch it if you're on the West Coast again, you get to watch the East Coast view, which I think is pretty cool. And I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I am Roel. I am Danny. And I'm Jennifer. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.